What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are, <coughs> excuse me, if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general special reading for all signs. Caps and side to everybody you clean. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. Thanks for all my new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to this channel. And uh, if you'd like to book a personal, the link's in the description box below. Uh, PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Confirmation with the planes, by the way. I'm pretty sure they're helicopters because I live about a quarter mile from the base. Okay, this is for a sign of Capricorn. This could resonate if you have caps any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, work, sun, Ben, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Step to the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, Venus, work, sun, Ben, Haven, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages as well. Okay. Okay, so the channel message I received, this is for Sign of Caps, and um, the channel message I received for this free general collective reading, there was three of them. The first one I heard uh, financial abuse, the second one I heard sexual abuse, and the um, third one, oh, I forgot the third one, give me a second. Financial abuse, sexual abuse, oh, yeah, 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 and the third one was nothing like a real mother's love. Um, that's what I heard. So financial abuse, sexual abuse, and nothing like a real mother's love. And um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So energies can be reversed as usual. So financial abuse, it could be you that's been financially abused or somebody you're connected to or upcoming, you or somebody you're connected to. Sexual abuse, that could have been you in the past or somebody you're connected to or upcoming, you or somebody you're connected to. I don't wish any, any kind of abuse upon anybody, but um, that is the energetic space for pulling. And then uh, number three is nothing like a mother's love, a real mother's love. So um, that could be you realizing there's nothing like a real mother's love or somebody you're connected to. How that resonates and applies Capricorn, okay? But I did hear real mother's love, so... How I mean, however that resonates, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, I think there's somebody that has pretended to be your mother or a mother-like figure or upcoming somebody is about to pretend to be your mother or a mother-like figure, but you're realizing or is about to realize who the real mother or mother-like figure is in your life or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates, Capricorn, but I did hear nothing like a real mother's love. So I think the real person, whether it's your biological mother, your foster mother, or somebody you call mother, um, it's somebody that truly cares about you, truly, like from the bottom of their heart chakra cares about you. And I feel they've proven this over actions um, in the universe, or they're about to. How that resonates and applies. But I feel for a majority of you guys, they've already proven them proven it because there's a reason you're about to realize or already has realized there's nothing like a true mother's love i think they've already proven it in the universe with their actions okay i heard take all four of them for some you've dealing with earth sign or fire sign if you are they got force capricorn virgo or um aries leo sag and their sun moon rising venus or they've been able to cheaper charts if you are capricorn uh, we have horse and we have fire ant. That's your animal spirit cards. And then we have eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition, cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control, and May and October. And we are in a, October right now.
Capricorn is about to realize their parent is majorly depressive. Manic depressive. A father figure. Through many series of chain events. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, Cap. I heard a father figure, so I feel it could be your biological father, your adopted father, or somebody you consider father. But through many series of chain events, so it hasn't happened yet in the universe, but it sounds like it's upcoming. I heard you're about to realize the fa your father figure, whether it's a biological father, foster father, or somebody you consider father, or a call father. Um, you're about to realize they are a... Um, Manic depressive number 42 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 42 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 42, okay, so that's like major depressive. I heard manic depressive, but I'm assuming that's like major depressive disorder because you know there's regular depression and then there's the major depression. Let's see. I'm gonna look it up because I'm not familiar with um. The, the major manic depressive. Oh, okay. Bipolar. That's bipolar. Bipolar is manic depressive. Um, which would make sense because mania is periods of up, 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 up. And depression is periods of down, 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 like real low or real up. Um, it says the manic phase, the up, 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 up may last weeks or months. And the depressive phase may last weeks or months. But uh, way up and way down, basically. So that's bipolar. Now, I don't know if this is um, the, um, there are several types of di bipolar. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to read it. It requires a medical diagnosis. Many episodes may include symptoms such as high energy, reduced need for sleep, and loss of touch re with reality. Depressive episodes may include symptoms such as low energy, low motivation, and loss of interest in daily activities. Mood episodes last days to months at a time and may also be associated with suicidal thoughts. A disorder associated with episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. The exact cause of bipolar disorder isn't known, but a combination of genetics, environment, and altered brain structure and chemistry may play a role. Um, so, I heard manic depressive, that's bipolar, and there's um, there's at least two types of bipolar from my studies uh, in nursing school, which has been about a decade ago, and I studied it when I worked at um, the jail, because um, we had to, you know, I had to refresh myself on the mental health disorders because I was coming across so many of them um, working in the nurse, as a nurse up there. Um, but there's at least two types of bipolar. I will tell you that um, for sure, for sure. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that is definitely one of them, the manic depressive. All right, we're going to get into this. But for one of you guys, I heard it sounds like it's upcoming. You're about to realize your father type figure, whether it's a biological father, um, foster father, or somebody you call father or consider a father, um, that they are manic depressive. Your mother is finally free. You realize this now. 
biological mother. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, Caps. A lot of parent energy in here or people you consider parent energy, how that resonates and applies. Herda, um, your biological mother is finally free now. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, your biological mother could be another earth sign, a fourth Capricorn Virgo, or had fourth Capricorn Virgo in their charts. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. If they don't have earth in their chart or not an earth sign, they're taking on the force energy of free, of freeness and freedom and um, able to, um, they're free of something, of person, people, place, or situation. It's, I, I equate this to like, um, of, um, like wild horses. They're not necessarily wild. They are just free from a toxic situation. Maybe they're free from chaos. So they take on like the wild spirited energy here. Um, not necessarily that they're out partying um, every night and they're five five thousand dollars in debt and you know they do drugs and party. No, I mean for some your mother may be like that, but that's not the energy I'm feeling overall. Though I'm feeling just the energy of whether they are a drug user or not. Only you know if your mother biological mother is a drug user or not or a partier. But however that resonates, whether she is or isn't, I hope she's not. But she's taking on the energy of freedom, freedom to make her own decisions, her own choices, um, free to create business or businesses, freedom to have five side hustles, six side hustles, or um, or what have you, what have you, freedom to run her life, uh, to be herself. I feel for some of you, your mothers, because I heard your biological mother, maybe they have just recently went through a divorce or a separation, or they have freed themselves from some kind of entrapment situation or toxicity of the past. And I feel you know this, how that resonates in the class. I think they were in some kind of chaos. Fire ant. A significant protest is about to break out at a hospital soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Union labor group falling apart. There's a lot of drama inside this group. A lot. And, it, and the group is about to implode from the inside out. Okay, so you put union group, um, union labor group energy strong. Um, I did a reading on that yesterday. You can go back and check it if you guys want to. Um, I, I've never been in a union group, a union group, union labor group, nothing, no, nothing of that nature. But um, somebody is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. But anyway, so um, there's some kind of union labor group somewhere in the universe, somewhere. Um, it could be maybe you're in this union union labor group or you know somebody connected to in this union labor group or you're about to hear about it. But there's about to be a significant protest at a hospital. I think the union labor group is in the hospital is what I'm presuming or connected to the hospital corporate conglomerate en entity possibly. But I did hear hospital. So it's something to do with the hospital. I think the union labor group is in the hospital uh, possibly for some of these situations. But however that resonates, um, it's about to implode from the inside out. So, you know, it's okay. So for example, there was member of the Amazon. I live in Alabama, the state of Alabama. And I know some of you guys do too, but some of you guys live in different states and countries and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But there was this big deal about Amazon unionizing the employees in Amazon unionizing. Um, so much so that, um, a celebrity came down, and I really admire that celebrity a lot. What was what's his name? He's African American, and I can see his face in my head. Um, I can't think of his name off the bat, but 
I admire him, I'll tell you that. And he came down to Birmingham, Alabama, and um, came down here and supported the Amazon union workers and all that when they were able to finally form the union in Amazon. And it started down here in Birmingham, Alabama. Of course, there's many Amazons in many countries. I think this was last year, I think, or it might have been in 2020. I think it was last year. What is that guy's name? I'm going to say it starts with a B or a D. I can see his face as clear as day in my face, in my head. Um, but I cannot think of that guy's name. But he is a very, um, he's a very respected actor. Very respected. Very respected. And he, like I said, he came down here. But I think that was last year, either in 2021 or 2020. I think 2021. But anyway, so he came down here and supported, right? Amazon. Well, um, apparently somebody, it sounds like in a hospital or a hospital corporate entity, they formed a labor union group too. And I feel some of you guys know this or you're about to find this out. And uh, what's this? Is this I'm trying to think of this guy's last name. Booker? Is it Booker? What is this guy's name? Hold on. Let me see if I can. It's going to drive me crazy. I got to skirt the reading for a second because I, I need to um, figure out. Um, this guy's name is driving me crazy. Amazon. I'm going to look up Amazon. Um, Amazon. Um, protest. No, Amazon Labor Union Group. Union Group. Celebrity. That's okay, yeah. Danny Glover, that's it. Danny Glover. And that was in February of 2021. I see it on AL.com. I think I posted it on here in 2021 because I thought it was a great. After Danny Glover comes to Bessemer to so show support for um, Amazon Bessemer Fulfillment site, which is Amazon. Um, and Bessemer is very, very, very near Birmingham, Alabama. Just let everybody know, okay? That was in February. It was February 22nd of 2021 when AL.com did that article. Danny Glover, that's it. I remember watching it live on my phone. I had just got off work and it popped up on my AL.com timeline and I was watching it. Of course, I don't I only had like a 15 minute drive from work home, but that was that was during COVID. Well, no, that was right before COVID because COVID started here in Alabama in March. Of, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. COVID started in 2020. It started in 2020, March of 2020. This was in February 22nd, 2021. So we were still in COVID. But yeah, I remember that. I was driving home from work because I was still working at the nursing home there. Um, and um, I thought it was great. But anyways, yes, Danny Glover. Danny Glover. So yeah, but there's something going on with um, labor union groups somewhere at a hospital in a hospital or connected to a hospital or something of that nature, okay? So much so it's going to be a very large protest, and I heard the group is about to implode from the inside out. So internally, it's about to implode, meaning not literally the people, I don't feel body parts exploding. I just feel like anger and frustration and tempers flaring, that sort of thing, okay? And it's about to make it fall apart. Um. I feel for some you could be in this group, for some you can know somebody in this group, however that resonates and applies, but labor union group in a, hosp in a hospital or connected to a hospital, and Danny Glover is the one that came for the union group in Amazon. Just saying. That was driving me crazy. It's about to blow up in a huge way. A stubble deuces confirmation it's about to blow up in a huge way. I think some of you some of you guys know this labor union group or you heard about it being formed or something. Now I looked up the details to labor union group. If anybody's interested in that, it's in the other video. If anybody's interested, I'm not gonna redo it in this one because we're already 20 minutes in and I don't want to waste everybody's time. Okay. 
but if you're interested in the details of a labor union group, you can Google it or you can go back to that other video, okay? I only, I did it like a couple days ago or something like that, okay? But this is the protest energy, the anger, fire ants, they sting, they bite, and it causes pain. It inflicts pain and um, anger and um, upsetness here. So I feel upset, hostility, anger, um, those type, that, that type of energy here, okay? Um, with the protest, protest energy, angry, hostility hostile energy um something to do with the labor union group but um, i heard there's a lot of drama in it and it's about to implode so chaos in this labor union group we're pulling in so strong related to a hospital or in a hospital or something of that nature i psychic ability trust your intuition A Capricorn is about to finally cut off a Libra. They have been holding on for a long time, a long time, but they are getting a huge wake-up call. Keep coming back and keep coming back, but about to do it. Things are getting way too out of hand for one Capricorn, and they are about to cut it off for good. Realizing priority people in their life. And this person has caused nothing but drama, and this Capricorn knows this. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you have some kind of Libra energy, um, either in your life or was in your life, how that resonates and applies, perhaps. Um, masculine or feminine Libra, and they can have Libra in any aspects of their charts, and it could be anybody to you. I didn't hear specifically who it is. Um, but however that resonates, if this message applies for you, basically... It sounds like you kept coming back to this person or you kept allowing them in your energetic space. You kept allowing them around your energy. You kept allowing them around you and access to you. And you kept allowing it and you kept allowing it and you kept allowing it. Like they were crossing boundaries. Like, and they shouldn't have been. But they knew what they were doing because you kept allowing it, basically. Uh, but... I feel for some, you're psychic. You have psychic abilities, psychic gifts like clear audience, clairvoyance, psychic medium abilities, um, dreamscape, or something of that nature. Um, any of the players, psychic, medium, prophetess type abilities or prophet abilities, man or woman, okay? But however that resonates, um, you definitely, um, You've had a, you, it's, this is like wake up call energy. If you don't have the clairs and you're not a prophet and you don't have those kind of skills, talents, and abilities, you definitely, I feel you definitely have int, intuitive nature to wake with a wake up call energy to wake up and realize that this Libra has, is not good for you. It's like a cat and mouse game. Like I heard that, and I heard they've done nothing but cause chaos in your life. So it's not like they've done something to build you up or to catapult you up in a positive way to give you an opportunity that has a life-changing opportunity or to do something so amazing in your life in a positive way to where it sets you in a position to where you can grow and manifest. You see what I'm saying? This person has done nothing but create drama. So negativity and drama, I feel, has been pulling you down, pulling you down, and pulling you down, not catapulting you up in life. And I think with the psychic ability card, trust your intuition here. Your intuitive nature has already spiked and realized this Libra is like this to you or is about to spike and realize this Libra is like this to you is what I'm feeling. Um, and that's, and I think this Libra causes chaos in your life because we have the chaos, man or woman, hey, um, Libra here, okay? And um, they are about, to, and you're about to cut it off or you already have cut it off. Um, I think I, I think the channel message was you're about to cut it off, but you can go back and check it for the full message. But however that resonates, whether you're about to cut it off or you already have cut this Libra off, somebody is about to use, one of you caps is about to use your intuition and cut it off this Libra. Um, for one, it's a Libra. For one, it's a Pisces. For one, it's both. For one, it's a Libra. For one, it's a Pisces. And for one, it's both. So for one of you guys, it's a Libra. For one, it's a Pisces. And for one, it's both. 
So for one, it's a Libra, one, it's a Pisces. And for one, it's both. They could have Libra or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Haver, Jupiter, Tron, Mask or Femme, Libra, Mask or Femme, Pisces. You plug it in, how it resonates. But I think you're realizing this person just creates chaos in your life. They don't up and better your life. They decline it. Or create tower negative tower moments. This can be depicted as the negative tower moment energy card as well. Okay? You plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Okay? It is a Libra in energy. For some, it's an ex-lover. For some, it's an aunt. For some, it's an uncle. Okay, I heard for some of you. Okay, so for some of you guys, the Libra in energy is a aunt an uncle or a ex-lover. So you're not, if it's the ex-lover category, excuse me, somebody doesn't want to speak on this. <clears throat> if it's the ex-lover category, they do not, okay. If it's the ex-lover category, you're not in current sexual connection with them right now, but you used to be in some shape, form, or fashion in the universe, but you're not right now. So it's either your ex-lover, whether it was serious or committed, uh, aunt or an uncle. And you know that could be a primary and or fifth and or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know it gets complicated out there. So how that resonates. Aunt, uncle, or a former lover. This Libra energy. You plug them in how they resonate, okay? But you're highly gifted if this resonates with you. You're highly intuitive. You've already, I feel you've already gotten intuitive spikes or you're about to. And that's why you're, oh, I'm sorry, Libra or Pisces. Libra or Pisces. I heard Libra or Pisces. So the Libra or the Pisces could be an ex-lover, an aunt, or an uncle. Okay? Libra or Pisces. Masculine or feminine Libra or Pisces. Aunt, uncle, or former lover. Okay? You plug it in how it resonates. A Capricorn is about to overhear a very significant phone conversation. For some, it's your father. For some, it is your brother. It's about to give you a huge intuitive spike to do something you never thought you would do. You're really going to think on this before you do it, but you are about to do it. Because you know in your heart and your gut it's the right thing to do and you're about to do it. Very loving energy here. A lot of regret of the past. And you're about to start making some things right with um, a particular feminine energy that has done nothing but love you and bring you up in the past. You did not see it clearly in the past, but you do now. This person really had nothing but good intentions for you. But you are really realizing it now. For some, it is your mother. For some, it was a teacher of your past. For some, it was a coach of your past. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. So Fem Energy, mother, teacher, or coach of your past. These are all feminine energies. Mother, so I'm thinking foster, biological, or you call her mother. True mother energy, though. Caring and affection and true, I heard she truly cared for you. Like, did everything in her power, whether it was financially or material-wise or both, or time spent at a ball field, because I heard coach, or um, time spent education, or taking you to interviews, or taking you to school functions or taking you to after school activities or taking you and taking you and taking you um whatever that is with the mother type energy um she really she really was there for you uh, i heard you didn't see it in the past you didn't see it clearly but you are seeing it now whether it's your mother a teacher or um what was the other one mother teacher or coach they're all fem energies 
Um, but I heard you didn't see it in the past, but you're about, you see it now and you're about to make it right. Your intuition's already spiked. Um, and now how you're going to make it right, I don't know, Capricorn. Only you know how you're going to make it right. But it sounds like you did not appreciate these feminine energies in the past. Now, you can be a masculine or feminine, but these people are fem energies. Whether it's your mother, biological foster, or somebody you consider a mother, a, a female coach of the past, or a female teacher of the past. I feel this could be a teacher of any anything, in any grade, whatever, 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 okay? I feel, but you were not appreciative. You were not appreciative. I feel you were, feels like you were very ungrateful and very unappreciative, but you're about to show your appreciation in some shape, form, or fashion. That could be a card, a letter, a thank you. Uh, if it's the mother, really, I'm feeling maybe a phone call or a face-to-face -face or maybe a sweet card or a letter or something. How that resonates and applies with the mother, only you know what you're going to do with the mother. To me, the mother's on a whole different level than the um, coach or the um, teacher. Even though those are important parts and facets of people's lives, the mother, and I heard she truly did, I mean, she truly still cares, loves you and cares, and she has proven it time after time after time after time, after time again, but you just never saw it. So you didn't show appreciation the way you should have, if this resonates for you. But I heard you're about to come in this loving energy and show it to um, her, and show it to her. Now, however you show it to her, I don't know. Is this a phone call? Is this a letter? Is this a... Um, a gift? Is this a face-to-face a -face with a huge hug? Is it a teddy bear? I mean, I don't know what your mother's into or you're into or how you're going to express this gratitude, but it is a mother-type figure, and she truly was there for you. Like, she really was. Like, let's say, for example, you had turn tournament ball games, and y'all were at the ball field Friday through Sunday, Friday night through Sunday evening. And that lady was in the ballpark um, ticket, tournament ticket, because tournaments you have to pay for, every single one of them. They're not free. Tournament ticket in, tournament ticket out, armband on, armband out, had her team shirt on, had her team underoos on, slept in the vehicle, drank the waters out of the cooler, and was there for you, rah, 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 and with her banner. I mean, that's just an example, but... That's a very supportive mother is what I'm trying to say. That's just an example. I'm not saying she did that, but that would be an example in my head of somebody that truly cares about their kid. <laughs> so um, however that resonates, Capricorn, is what I'm saying. But you're about to really, really show your gratitude and appreciation to her. You did not in the past. But I think somebody's psychic abilities, one of you guys' psychic abilities are kicking in and your intuition's kicking in. And you're realizing things about your mother now that you didn't in the past. But I think it's because there's been some kind of chaos here that has forced the change or is about to force the change to make you realize the worth of the mother, whether you call her mother or she really is your biological or foster mother or the teacher or the, um, who's the other one? Teacher or the coach. Now, the teacher and the coach are very, um, are very important, but the mother, to, in my opinion, is the most important if she truly was a good mother to you. Now, there are people that were not truly good mothers. I didn't have a truly good mother, and that's just the truth. I did not. I had a set, uh, not a set monster. I had a foster monster for a mother. And she proved it over the years. She proved to be a foster monster. And that's just the truth. But whoever yours is, she proved to be a true mother. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Only you know who you are, not anybody else, okay? A Capricorn feminine, very young Capricorn feminine, has developed psychic abilities. Somebody has been trying to energy suck them from you. They know you have them, and they've been trying to energy suck them from you in a very sneaky, strategic way. One, you've already picked up on it. One, you're about to pick up on it, and you're about to protect your energy from this, this person in a huge way. For some, it's two, two-plus people. 
Well, that would make sense with the protect your negative forces beyond control. So protecting your energy field. I feel for some that could be separating your energetic space from them or minimalizing your energetic space from them. For some, you could get the sage and light it up very carefully and not starting a house fire kind of way and clearing your energetic space and then kind of separating your energy from those people as best as possible. I'll show you the sage so people know kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay. This is sage. And, um, Yes, I haven't started growing it yet in my yard, but I do plan on doing that soon, probably next season, just let everybody know. And then I will start selling it and packaging it like this as well, okay? But this is sage. It looks, it looks kind of like a large blunt, and that's just the truth. Um, but it's not. It's sage. Um, but yeah, so um, you can sage. That's one way to protect your energy. Another way is to uh, cut minimal communication, text, uh, verbal around those people for some of you guys it's one person for some it's two and two plus people but um, hopefully you can identify with your intuition who these people are and put minimal contact if you feel you need to do that okay now if you start staging please don't burn your house down because i don't want you to come back and say well hpi high priestess intuition told me to stage my house and then it ends up in flames disclaimer please be careful with the sage if you choose to do it okay everybody has free will okay i expect everybody to use their head okay <laughs> but but yeah so um if that resonates okay somebody has been a huge energy sufferer you're younger capricorn feminine there's at least two of you if that resonates for you you're both younger capricorn fem so i'm feeling 35 34 below you can have caps any aspects of your charts but one of you guys, it's one person, I heard they're sneaky and strategic, and they've been doing it to suck your energy. Um, I heard very young, actually. I heard very young. So I, I feel for some, you could be 25 or below. Definite 35 or below, but I'm feeling these people might be 25 or below. I mean, you're very young, if this resonates. I mean, I'm feeling 25 or below. I heard very young. But um, for some, it's one. For some, it's two or two plus. But you just plug it in how it resonates, okay? Please be careful of the energy succubuses. Please be careful because um, they're doing it for a reason. Because you have good energy. You have good energy and you have good life force. And whoever they are, they're on the dark side. And I feel they've been practicing on the dark side. They're probably the ones, the ones causing chaos and conflict in your life or they have. Um, where you don't get to catapult up in life. It's like they keep dragging you down every step of the way kind of energy is what I'm feeling. Um, hopefully you can identify them with your intuition or you're about to identify them with your intuition and you're about to make some positive changes here, okay? You plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn, okay? But I heard you're, uh, for one of you guys, at least one over here, very, very young Capricorns, your um, abilities are, um, they're coming through. They're being showcased. Like somebody can see that you've either already developed abilities or you're about to develop abilities. So the energy suckers, they want to suck the life, spiritual life force out of you so they can have all the good energy. And you won't, like for some of you guys, if they're really good at it, like good dark side, they can suck it out of you so good, you won't even uh, develop your abilities. And I'm just being serious. Like, I should have had abilities. I started, let's see, I started getting my abilities when I was 30. I'm 39. When I was 36. I should have had mine a long time before. And I started showcasing them when I was a child. But all of a sudden, I didn't get them. Like when I was like 18, 19, I didn't get them. But it was the choices I was making to make me not get them. So it was my fault. But if I had really honed them and manifested them and been around a light side individual to really hone and manifest them as a teenager, because I started developing them as a teenager, I really would have been like really gifted early on is what I'm trying to say. And I feel maybe that's for one of you guys, because I heard you're very young. I think somebody identifies that you have these abilities or you're about to develop them and they want your good energy. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way, a huge way. Okay, so, okay, I heard it's about to backfire on in a huge way. So one of you guys either already has the abilities, the players, or the psychic medium, or the prophetess, or prophet ability, or whatever, whatever, whatever. 
and one um one you already have them and one i think you show promising signs that you're about to get them if that resonates but it's about to backfire on the energy sucker this is um if that resonates you're protected from negative forces beyond your control so i'm feeling you're protected uh from these dark arts energy succubuses and whoever you guys are they're sneaky and deceptive and they love to suck the young energy the young gifted energy basically and i mean i hate to say that but that's the truth hopefully for some you're not having sex with these people because sex is the biggest form of uh, energy sharing if anybody needs to hear that okay sexual intercourse is the biggest form of energy sharing for anybody that doesn't know that so hopefully one of you guys is not having sex with these people because that really could train you i'm not saying you are but i'm just saying it okay for one you're about to get very heavy dreamscapes very heavy dreamscapes and very heavy visions True visions. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to get very heavy dreamscapes and very dreamscapes and very heavy visions, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So your abilities, your clear abilities, are going to increase, whether they're visions or um, or dreamscapes, or you develop dreamscapes or the visions. You either already have them, or you're about to develop them intuition light worker players um spiritual universe energy either developing or already or increasing i feel for some you could be over with the very very young capricorn fem energies over here i feel for some you're developing because i heard in there for some you're developing for some you already have them but you really could be a masculine or feminine but you plug it in how it resonates okay oh i gotta hurry up i gotta use the restroom i know y'all don't want to hear that but i really do so i gotta hurry but protect your energy okay somebody's very highly gifted or you have the ability to become very gifted and somebody recognizes this, this with all this um energy sucking okay so just please be careful please okay cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control oh wait i'm sorry that was not the um the next one came out may For one, serious negative tower moments happened to you in May. Someone really could have helped you and they chose not to. You're about to cut this person off in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So somebody caused chaos for one of you guys in May. Um uh feeling of 2022 i didn't hear what year but i'm feeling 2022 they caused chaos for you in may of 2022 with negative tower moment or moments um i heard you're about to cut this person off soon so there was some kind of negative tower moment um in your life somebody caused um piscean energy piscean energy it was a piscean energy that caused um, negative tower moment in your life in may of 2022 heavy pisces energy um and you're about to cut them off whoever this person is um they could have pisces in any aspects of your charts sun moon rising venus or them in hammer at cheaper charts and um they cause some kind of negative power moment for you and you're about to cut them off capricorn um may of 2022 and someone of your past for some your parent is about to get justice vindication from a wrongful termination in may of 2022 okay and for some of you guys it's your parent so your mother or your father biological or foster or somebody you call a mother or father or somebody of your past is about to get vindication i heard uh, from a wrongful termination um, of may of 2022 so your parent mother or father biological or not or a person of your past basically um 
was wrongfully terminated in May of 2022, but I heard they're about to get vindicated soon. So, um, however that happens. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to get a lot of support. People were strategically keeping them away in the past, but it's about to happen. Okay, I heard they're about to get a lot of help and support. People were strategically keeping them away in the past, but it's about to happen. So, if your parent or a person of your past is protected from negative forces beyond their control, I heard um, person or people was strategically keeping them away from this person in the past, strategically. They didn't want them to get any help and support for the wrongful termination. For some, I mean, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Hopefully, you wanted somebody that wrongfully terminated to get help and support, but I mean, I, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But this person is about to start getting help and support now. But people were strategically keeping them apart and uh, or keeping them away from this person strategically in the past. Um, they were wrongfully terminated in May of 2022. My God, we're in October. They kept them away for a hot ass minute, just saying, just saying. June, July, August, September, I took five months. That's almost half a year. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious, man. That's almost half a freaking year. But I've heard they're about to get a lot of help and support. A lot of help and support. For some, it's your parent. For some, it is um, someone of your past. Hopefully, you care about this person and you don't wish ill upon them. Um, but only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Capricorn, okay? October. Wait a second. That's not the... That's not the one that came out third. That's a cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Making a room very cozy. And keeping boundaries. Making a room very cozy and keeping boundaries is what I heard. And choosing friends wisely. Okay. So, um, choosing friends wisely, making a room comfy, and keeping your boundaries. Protecting your boundaries. So, protecting your boundaries from the negative energy or energies. You don't want energy succubuses. We had that strong in here early, earlier. Uh, making your room comfy and cozy. So for some, I feel that could be decorating, that could be a rearranging, that could be cleaning, that could be a plethora of things, something to do with your room. Now, whether you're a roommate, you live with a parent or a parents, because we have heavy parent energy in here, or whatever, 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 however that resonates, okay? Feel for some, you could be roommates. For some, you could own the home. For some, it could be an extra room. For some, you could live with your parent or parents. Top of that resonates, okay? Or step parents or what have you, what have you. But something about making a room cozy, I'm feeling redecoration, decorating, rearranging, um, um, whatever, what have you, what have you, what have you in this room, okay? Uh, painting a wall, a mural, or some, whatever it is, whatever it is, okay? Uh, whether you're a roommate, you own the home, you own the space, or you were in a parent or parent's home, okay? Um, and choosing friends wisely and protecting your energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, your psychic abilities have already come into fruition or they're about to come into fruition. And I'm just being serious about this. Somebody, a strong dreamscape and visions and the true visions, not the mental health vision. Not, I mean, there's not mental health visions, but there's people that, like, I've gotten many visions before, and it comes from internal. It, the true visions come internally, and you just see them. It's like a supernatural flash, if that makes sense. I mean, that's how it happens for me. It's like an internal supernatural flash, and it comes very quickly, and then it disappears. It's kind of like a force field screen, invisible screen, like you would see on the techie movie shit. Like... And you could poke your finger through it and it goes right through it like that. And then it comes for a few seconds and then it disappears. It's not like, for example, because I've worked as a nurse for a long time. It's not like patients that really see spiders on walls, like crawling on the walls or hands that come out of walls. I have taken care of patients before that have really, truly seen hands coming out of walls or spiders crawling up on walls that are not there. Or they see people in another room 
that aren't there. It's not like that. True clairvoyant visions for anybody who doesn't know. It's like for me, it's like a techie see-through screen, like matrix shit. And it just kind of like right in front of me for a few seconds and then it disappears. Unless it is a longer vision where it's like a movie. For some of them, they're flashes a few seconds, depending on what it wants to show me. And for some, it's longer than a few seconds, like five to 15 seconds, depending on the length of the story. And then it goes off. I don't get them very often, but some of you guys, I know some of you guys get them pretty often. Um, and it really all depends on what the vision is. That's the best way I can describe it. But that's not mental health issues is what I'm saying. I have really taken care of patients that, and usually theirs are drug-induced, drug-related. Oh my God, there's hands coming out of the, I mean, ringing the call bell in the school nursing facility or the hospital. Ring, 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 ring. I come down there. Oh my God, there's hands coming out of the wall. They're going to come chase me. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. I've taken care of patients like that. And that's just the truth. My visions are not like that. Never been like that. And that's just the truth. And whoever you are, I don't feel they're like that or they're going to be like that. Okay. But that is the difference is what I'm trying to say. That shit is mental health issues. And that's drug induced usually. People taking shrooms and hallucinogens to produce that shit. That's not really how the spiritual universe works. If anybody needs to hear that. But whoever you are, I don't think you're trying, you're taking shrooms or drugs or any of that shit to try to produce them. I just think you naturally are about to get them. Um, and I feel for some, it is genetic. It's in your bloodline. Um, true genes there. True genetic ancestral DNA. I didn't hear it was. Just intuitively, I feel that. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But congratulations for the ones of you about to get true abilities. Um, they have really saved me my life. They have saved my life and my children's life and our financial security um, in a world that <laughs> loves to wrongfully terminate good nurses. And that's just the truth. Um, and I'm serious. Um, I'm serious. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. For one, you're about to retire. For one, you're about to retire, is what I just heard. A Taurus is about to sell a home, and it's about to make things a lot easier for you. A, sell, a home they can actually sell. Okay. So for one of you guys, you're about to retire in some kind of torn energy, mask up in Taurus. They can have Taurus in any aspects of their charts. But the Taurus is about to sell a home. I heard a home they actually can sell. So maybe they've tried to sell a home they couldn't uh, couldn't sell in the past. Uh, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, because we've had Section 8 voucher fraud in here. So maybe for one, they were that Section 8 voucher fraud shit. For some, it may, I feel, forgery or fraud. But however that resonates, they have um, tried to sell, uh, one of them, I feel, tried to sell a home they could, uh, shouldn't have sold in the past. Maybe for some, they got put in jail. I hope they did, just saying, just saying. But, I mean, because that's the way it's supposed to go in real 3D time, and that's just the truth. But however that resonates, um, whether they actually got held responsible and accountable for their actions and crimes of the past or not, it don't sound like they were able to sell the home. But this one, they are actually going to be able to sell the home. Uh, but the Taurus selling this home, and it sounds like, obviously, they can sell it. I think their primary signature on the um, deed um, or, uh, yeah, I think their primary signature on the deed is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates because uh, they're actually able to, to do it free and clear. Um, um, you're going to be able to, uh, to make some changes here because this Taurus is... Um, going to sell this home. So I think when they sell the home, it's going to give you all a nest. I think this might be your parent. This might be your partner. This might be your lover, whoever this Taurus is to you. Okay. You plug the Taurus in how they resonate. Parent, partner, lover, or somebody that is connected into your finances um, or is going to share the financial reapings with you. How that resonates and applies. Okay. There's a reason I'm pulling this Taurus energy and selling this home and you retiring, if that resonates for you. But this Taurus selling a home is integral 
to you retiring. So somehow they share the finances with you is what I'm trying to say, okay? But you're protected here. You're protected here, the person about to retire, okay? If that resonates for you. October. For one, you're about to move far distances, one to Georgia, one to Alabama, one to Texas, one to California. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to move far distances. So far distances from where your current location is right now, if that resonates and applies. For one Georgia, one Alabama, one Texas, one um, California. So you plug it in how it resonates. All these are in the United States of America. If this resonates and applies for you and resonates for you. But wherever the current location you are right now, it's to these location or locations if that resonates for you. Okay. So your current location to these locations, whether it's at state of Alabama, state of Texas, state of um Alabama, Texas, ooh, I forgot. Alabama, Texas, California, and there was another one. Alabama, Texas, California, and whichever one the fourth one was, okay? Um, but you're gonna move far distances from your current location to the state or states. Alabama, te Texas, California, and there was a fourth one and it's driving me crazy. You have to go back and check it, okay? Um, I think that's going to happen in October or happen soon. Um, probably that resonates and applies. Now, we still have 11 days left. We have 11 days left in October. So, a lot could happen in 11 days. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, this is going to happen in October. For some, it's going to happen in November. For some, this is going to happen in October. For some, this is going to happen in November. So for some, it's going to happen in October 2022. For some, it's going to happen in November 2022. The moving, the far distances, um, physical distances to these states. Um, whether it's Alabama, California, or um, Texas, or that fourth one. I can't remember. The, uh, Georgia. That was Georgia. That was it. That was it. Alabama, California, Texas, and Georgia. I remembered it. Just saying. Okay. For one, you're about to confess something very soon. For one, you're about to have a confession to you soon. Okay, I heard for one, you're about to confess something soon. And for one, somebody's about to confess something to you soon. So confession, I think in October of 2022, whether somebody's confessing something to you or you're confessing something to somebody else, heavy confession energy, October energy. You plug it in how it resonates. Feel for some, you can knew this was coming with the um, confession energy, the intuition energy possibly, um, or not, but uh, we have highly intuitive energy in here, if that resonates and applies. Chaos. A mother type figure that claims she's a true mother, but she really is a drug addict. One of you, you're about to report this. Officially report it. In a school. Some in a counseling office. To get her some help. You know exactly what you're about to do when you report this. For some, you're in therapy. 
For some, this is the counselor at your school. For some, this is a teacher at your school. For some, this is administration at your school. Holy God Almighty. Heavy school energy. Um, heavy. Okay, so one of you guys, you're in therapy. Uh, one, you're in school. Now, we got the counselor at the school, the administration staff at the school, and a teacher at the school. Um, and then one of you guys in therapy, at least one. But however that resonates, you're about to report this so-called mother figure. Now, this could be your so-called mother figure that does drugs or somebody that claims she's a mother figure to you that does drugs or somebody else's mother figure that claims they're a mother figure. But I heard they're really not. They basically just slammed her body full of drugs, chock full of drugs every day. It doesn't sound like they really take care of person, people, place, or situation. They take care of themselves selfish, selfish needs with drugs. So very um, codependent on drug energy. Who of this resonates and applies for? But however that resonates, you know this. What I was trying to say is these three are school. Now, you could be, for some, I I mean, you have to be 18 or plus to watch these videos. But for some, I feel you might be in high school. Um, you can be 18 in high school, I'm just saying. But intuitively, for some, I feel you might be in high school. And I'm just throwing it out there. You have to be 18 plus to watch these videos. But if you are in high school, this could be high school or school could be a technical school or school could be a two-year community college like I graduated from or it could be a four-year college or it could be an Ivy League. School can be a plethora of different things is what I'm trying to say, okay? Wherever you fit in those categories with school, whether it's a counselor, a teacher, or administrative staff like a principal, um, a dean, or a... Um, an assistant principal or something of that nature, okay? Or your counselor. But it's on this so-called mother figure that basically creates chaos, I think, for you or other people you're connected to or um, or situations because they basically go around slamming themselves with drugs all day long is what it sounds like, and they don't care for themselves or others the way they properly should. Um, and I feel this person wears a false mask in the community, like, they don't want people to know they are a drug user, but they really are. They definitely wear a false mask, but it's about to get ripped off. For one, you really know the dirty secrets of this person, and you're tired of keeping them. Okay. So for one of you guys, you know the dirty secrets of this person. I didn't hear a sign on the mother type figure, only you know who the mother type figure is, not anybody else, okay? I didn't hear a sign on her. You have to plug her in how she resonates. But however that resonates... You know, for one, you don't know the dirty secrets on her, but you're about to find out she's a drug user, I'll tell you that. Um, but for one, you do know. I think you know more than she's just a drug user is what I'm trying to say. I think you know, might know more. And you're about to reveal it. You are protected. If that resonates for you, you're very protected. And I think you're about to use your intuition and your psychic abilities and you, your gut instinct and your intu intuitive nature. And you're about to report her and get her some help. I heard you're gonna you're tired of holding her secrets. You're tired of holding it in and you want to get her some help. And honestly, that's the best way to do it. Because you should not be responsible for holding in somebody's dirty little secrets. I don't care how old you are, 18 or 83. You 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 should not be held responsible, and that's just the truth. You let them deal with their own responsibilities. This person needs to take care of themselves first before they can take care of anybody else. And I feel for some of these mother figures, they are supposed to be taking care of others, and they're not. And I'm serious. I didn't hear they had kids, but intuitively, I feel some do. Some do. <coughs> but it's about to change soon. So, okay, there's confirmation some do. So some do. They legally take care of other minors or minor. But it's about to change soon. But it's about to start with you being a precipice of being a reporter to the mandatory reporters. Because for anybody who doesn't know, police officers, teachers, staff, counselors, and teachers at school, police officers, um, counselors, therapists, um, nurses like me, or healthcare staff. Any of those are mandatory reporters, meaning if you report abuse or you report drug use or you report sexual assault or you report rape or you report something very serious to these people, they are supposed to mandatory, mandatory, meaning they, they wear the uniform, they have to call it in. 
They have to do their job. They have to, mandatory. Now, if they don't do this, I and you do mandatory report it to them, I would suggest calling an adult, a very mentally stable adult that you know will um, do something about it, and call them and report to them that these people, these mandatory reporters, position high authorities in your community, didn't do anything about it to get the ball rolling. So they can report these these assholes and the situation. Because if they, these people don't do nothing about it, that's called a cover-up energy for anybody doesn't know that, okay? But one of you guys about to be a power play boomer. Now, like I said, if you reported to these people and they don't do nothing about it, I would the B plan, in my opinion, would be to call somebody. Call a light side adult individual that you know will take some action here and will report these assholes too. Okay, just a suggestion. You can take it or leave it. Okay, but it's about to cause some um, chaos for the so-called drug user mother mother type person. That doesn't sound like a very uh, mothery type person to me. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped, and I hope everybody has a good day. And I'm gonna say.